Hi guys, welcome to another edition of Gaming Night. This is how to play Hot Rod Creeps. Uh, I'm going to put some pictures up on the corners here um, to show you what I'm talking about because I'm not going to show any video. Uh, if you want to see some video footage of our game session, I'll put a link below. Um, but uh, the first thing you want to do is build a track. You guys can either build one that's already in the back of the book or you can customize the one. Then you're going to take the little, there's a little one that's got a green border, you always want to set that aside, that's the starting point. It's three pieces, it's got a two, three, and a four uh, pieces on it, and that's the pull positions. So, to determine who goes, who's going to be in the, the front of the pack, it goes by the current um, month. So whoever's person's birthday is closest to that month will get to be in the starting position going forward. So. If your if your birthday is so let's say August and it's actually September, you're really gonna be last. It's gonna go, you know, September, October, November, December. It's gonna go, you know, your August is done. Your if you're in September, it's you know September, October, November, blah, blah 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 blah. Sorry. The rest of you guys are gonna be they're gonna be pulled out of a bag or a box from the box itself, and then. Whatever you pull up next is the one that's gonna go behind it. The the pull position only determines how many cards you're gonna start with. So it's basically to even everybody out. So if you're way in the back, you're gonna get you're gonna draw four cards from your your tank. If you're way in the front, you're gonna draw two cards. So it just allows a little evenness of the game. So you're not gonna be like in front and constantly gonna be ahead of the game. So once you get that out of the way, we're going to now sh explain how the cards work. Uh, on the, the back side, it's going to be the name of the team you are. If it's, you know, like for example, the monsters. And then on the face up side, you're going to have in the upper left hand corner have a move value. The move value is how many spaces you move when it's played. The card name is just a fancy text used to describe the card. And then the game text at the very bottom is basically what happens when you play the card. Some cards have special um, ways to be played. So if it says in hand from hand, or you only get that bonus if you play it from your hand. If you flip it from the deck at random, you're not going to get that ability. If it says if it says nothing on, it, then you you get to do the ability on it. It'll it'll activate. And then like if it says when you draft somebody, so if you when you move three spaces and you draft somebody you're going to get that the boat the ability that goes with underneath the card. If it says from flip only on the card, that means only if you randomly flip it. You can still move the value, but you're just not going to get the benefits of the text. So knowing how your team works is where the game comes in. You have to know how to hand manage and know how your deck works. It's deck manipulation basically. So on your turn you have four options. You can either play a move card from your hand which essentially you look at your hand, you play one you want to play, flip the top card of your deck tank, you basically take look at take the top card and flip it and do what it says. Very risky. If you have at least one card in your hand, you can flip the top card of the nitro deck. Now in the nitro deck you basically do what the text says first. I'm sorry. You move your spaces on the card and then you do the text on the thing. I, th I believe that's how it is. Because a lot of this stuff will be bad. Like you might not move anywhere, and then you'll have like a lot of bad stuff on the bottom. So the uh, nitro desk is really risky. Or you can do nothing and draw four cards from your tank. And you only have 20 cards in your tank, so being able to decide when to just do draw cards to to position yourself better, or it might just be to let people pass you. Now. Um, the reason for playing in the right cards at the right time is there are corner spaces on the board and uh, if you're going faster, equal to or faster than the speed on the corner and you cross that little red line at going, you know, so if you play a move four card and it said four plus, you're going to do what the cards, the, the, the corner says, like uh, it's a little marker. So for example, it might say burn two cards off your tank, so that means you take two cards from your tank and discard them. Um, if you don't have any 
cards in your tank, then you draw, you discard cards into your hand. If you have no cards in your hand, no cards in your tank, you're going to go to immediately go to the next, the, the closest pit, uh, pit stop. Or, in the case of you're starting the beginning of the game, go right back to the start of the game. Um, also, it, you might not want to play a card. It might it might land you on a hazard on the board that can do bad things. So you're either so in the game, like I said, burning means remove cards from your tank. Dealing damage means you're taking cards from your hand and discarding them. But if you don't have any cards in your hand, then you start discarding cards from your gas. So eventually, it's kind of like you're actually really driving around losing, you know, cards are actually losing gas until you're just going on fumes. So anytime you're ever down to zero cards and you have to play a card or lose a card, you you immediately got to go to start. So in this game, if you hit zero, you have zero cards in your hand, zero cards in your deck, and you cross the finish line, you don't you don't win that way. You have to literally go back to the nearest um, pit stop. Okay, I made a little slight little mistake. Um, you do the text on the nitro card before you do the movement on the card because sometimes then it'll tell you something bad. The reason for this is because um, you, you'll get upgrades to the game. Um, so anyways, when you get on a pit stop, you either can take all the land on a... you have to literally land on the pit stop on your turn in order to either take all the cards that are in your um, discard pile and the ones you haven't used yet, you shuffle them back up. The cards in your hand still stay in your hand. Or you could draw an upgrade. So upgrades come in many flavors. You got weapons, engine, tires, and pit crew. Tires, obviously, they help you when you uh, help you when you uh, draft a car. You might do damage to them. And drafting basically means landing on the same space they are. In this game, you can't share the same space. So if you land on somebody, you're going to just move to the next space that's empty. So there's three people in front of you and you land on top of the one in the far back you're going to draft until you get to the next open space some things will say when you're passing passing means when you just move past somebody obviously um, but uh, in the order of the events is when you um, is after you move after moving you resolve all your weapons and engines um, based on the cards you play so a lot of the cards and weapons and equipment only activate when you play certain types of cards like you might it might only require if you play a move three card move four card sometimes you have to play a move five or six it all depends on the weapons and stuff so this game even though you're you're going to be posing the other players you know you're essentially not going to be doing a lot of that if you're this game is very balanced because you can't just constantly attack the player that's in front. You can't constantly attack other players because you have to always pull position yourself. So you're more worried about yourself. But then again, sometimes you might want to play a card just so you can hold someone so they get damaged. And they might be. But there's not a lot of constantly bashing on the person. You're, you, there's a lot of times when you're just worried about positioning yourself. So... Uh, essentially, yeah, the corners are really important, and I hope that explains this game as best I can. Um, if you have any questions, just feel free to uh, ask me below. This game is very simple, um, very easy to pick up and play, but the strategy based on the, team, the type of um, teams you pick, because each team plays differently. So... Well, I hope that helped, and I wanted to do uh, videos and other stuff, but I just went with this format of just pictures and stuff. So, until I see you guys next time, I hope this help is helpful. Uh, and eventually, I'll do a live uh, live action live feed for Hot Rod Creeps, because this game is so much fun. I can't wait. to. I just hope they make an expansion for this. So, until next time, you guys take care.